Okay boys and girls, welcome back. This is a really quick video showing you how you can use uh, manual intervention in your bots. I get this question so many times, um, especially for people that want to fill out caption manually. This is all also really good if you need a stop point for a VA to take over the script and do something manually. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Before we get into the video, guys, um, there's a link in the description. Check out the new course for where we take you from Basque newbie to Basque god. Okay, so make sure that you check that out. Also, if you need a custom template made or you need a custom bot designed, then get over to the link in the description and we'll take care of you. Okay, guys, so um, in this example, I'm going to um, go to a contact form. We're going to fill out all the fields, the name field, um, the inquiry, etc., etc. But then we're going to break and let the um, VA or yourself or your staff take over the browser and fill out the caption manually. Okay, so I'm going to put the template in the, the description to a link to that so you can grab this so you can have a play about. Um, so let's just run the script. So um, I'm going to run it in uh, full mode, not test mode. But before I do that, I'm just going to take you over the script. So it's going to go to a website that I pulled in at random. Okay, it's going to fill out the name field. It's going to fill out the last name. It's going to fill out the inquiry, etc. But then it's going to use this when it gets to the capture. Um, it's going to use the manual browser control, which you can find in your toolbox. Um, you can find it here under user interaction. Okay, you can play a sound. You can ask for a user input if you want them just to be able to put in data. Or you can use this manual browser control. It's just going to give them control until they press a button to stop having control. And you can even give them a, a, a message as well to instruct the person what to do. Okay, so I'm just going to show you that out in the field. Uh, remember, guys, the template is oops, the template is in the description, so you can uh, download this and play about with it. So I'm going to hit run. I'm going to show the browser and show you um, this template at work. So we're just gonna uh, come here. It's just a contact form from a website. It's gonna fill out the fields. So we've got the last name, the surname filled out, get the email address in there, the phone number and the subject. Okay, I forgot to put that on zero, so I just uh, paste it. Okay, how can we help? Boom, and there you go. Now, you'll see here there's a field, look, fill in the captcha, uh, browser is under use control. So what the user can then do, yourself, staff member, whatever the case, can come here. In this case, we've given them um, control so they can do the, the captcha. Of course, you can have the recapture, um, done with a service, but um, a lot of you guys have been asking how you can fill capture out manually. So, um, yeah. So then the staff could, there is only one, oh no. So that could be done manually. And then what you can do is press this button here, return control to the application, and then the application takes over and presses the submit button and carries on. And that's all there is to it, guys. You can uh, now use this in your script. Yeah, like I said, this is really good if you need a VA or a member of staff or whoever to take over and do a manual action. Um, yeah, so there you go, guys. A lot of you um, guys have been asking on how to do that, so I hope it helps, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.